Hi everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. I am Faraz and if you are preparing for your technical interviews, you are at the right place. So today we are solving the question number 2 of the Lead Code by Weekly Contest 55. Let us quickly go through the problem statement and try to solve this problem. It is a really simple problem but it is going to teach you something really important that you can use during your interviews. So we are given a string S. In this string S we have to remove these parts and how we are going to perform these remove operations. So basically we are going to search for this part in the string S starting from the left hand side. So we will search it. We will see that uh, if this is giving us what is there in the part. No it is not. So start searching from the next element. If this is giving us the part again it is not. Then move ahead. If this is giving us the part yes it is. So just delete this. After deleting this add this part and this part. So after deleting it will be DA then starting from here B A A B C B C okay now you have to perform the same thing on this particular string so try searching ABC in this are we getting ABC using these three no are we getting ABC using these three again no what about these three again no and here we got ABC delete this and after the delete operation you will obtain D A B A B C and Again, performing the same operation. Are we getting ABC? No. ABC? No. ABC? No. ABC? Yes. Delete this. And we'll be left, we will be left with DAB. And in this DAB, we cannot find any ABCs. So we are going to stop here. And this is our answer. DAB is the answer. That is what we have to do. Now, when we are comparing this one by one, let's say the size of this is M and the size of this is N. When we are trying to find this ABC, it is going to take M into N time big of m, m into n time. So in the first case it might be possible that we have to go to each of these uh, three one by one each of these um, uh, like a group of three elements the group of three characters one by one and in the first case that will be big of m multiplied by n. Big of n means there are n such uh, groups and to compare these groups we need big of m complexity because there are m elements or m characters in the in the string part. So big of m into n to just find this ABCs. After that, we just have to uh, like concatenate it back. Let's say we found this ABC here and deleted it, and then we have to concatenate it back, and that is again going to take big of n uh, because the size of this string is n. That concatenation part. So overall, the complexity is going to become big of n square m. Okay, this will be the complexity. Let us see what these m and n are in the problem statement. So n is given as, oops, let me just hide the solution. m is given as uh, 1000, n is also given as 1000. So in total, it will be 10 raised to power 9, which is going to give us TLE. I told you that we will be able to pass till 10 raised to power 7, not more than that. So this is going to give you TLE. We have to improve this somehow. So before we move ahead, let us talk about interviewing.io. Interviewing.io is a platform where you can practice realistic coding interviews with interviewers from Google, Facebook, Microsoft, Amazon and other major tech giants. And they will give you a detailed feedback on the areas where you have to work. And the best part about this is you don't have to pay them anything until you are hired. They have the world's largest network of interviewers from these companies so you can get your interview scheduled with a notice of 24 hours. So if you are preparing for any such company, you can definitely check out interviewing.io. The link is in the description. Now whenever you see such kind of things like such kind of problem where you have to concatenate something back you have to delete something from this uh, middle and then concatenate the remaining part you definitely get a hint of using stack here okay you can definitely use stack in these kind of situations now how stack let me just demonstrate you I hope you know what a stack is the operations in stack are just push and pop operations so what we can do is we can just uh, try inserting all these elements like D A A B and each time when we are pushing it we just need to like uh, we need to compare these three elements the top three elements of the stack with ABC are they equal to ABC no not an issue keep adding the elements B now are these three equal to ABC again no then add the next element that is C are these three equal to ABC yes but in the reverse direction of course this is C B A C B A so just pop these three elements just pop these okay pop all these three elements and till where did we reach we have covered this 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 and this now the next element is B add this B then the next element is A 
add this A. Then the next element is again A. Then next B. Then next C. I forgot to mention that each time we are adding an element, we have to compare the top three elements. So we we have to compare them, but uh, we couldn't get A, B, C. So now we will be getting A, B, C here. Just pop these three. Okay. Popping from a stack is going to take big of an operation. Inserting into a stack is going to take big of an, one operation. So we saved the concatenation part. Each time when we were concatenating, concatenating those two strings, it were taking big of n. So we saved that concatenation part with the help of this stack. So now basically what we are doing is we are inserting all these n elements into stack. Okay. Let me just finish this demonstration first. Then the next element is B. Then the next uh, after B, we will be comparing these three. We will not get A, B, C. Then the next element is C. We will compare this. Yes, definitely we got this. So just pop all these three elements. Then whatever remaining is the answer in the stack. So this is how a stack is going to help us. It is it saves us the concatenation part, which was big O of n. So the overall complexity of this solution is now going to become big O of n multiplied by m. How? We are inserting n elements into the stack one by one big O of n for that and each time when we are inserting the um, inserting an element we are comparing the top three elements or the top m elements so big O of n into m so this is how stack is going to help us in all such problem statements where you have to delete something from between and then concatenate it back all right now a tricky way to implement stack is using strings itself so it's strings in C++ this class string in C++ that we use is also going to act as a stack. We can keep in string answer which is empty initially then keep adding these elements uh, key, these characters one by one that is D then A then uh, then A then B and each time we will be comparing these three okay as soon as the size of this answer is uh, exceeding three we are going to compare these three so we compare these three then these three then the next element is C comparing these three and then we will simply pop these one two three elements we will simply pop these pop back from stack pop back from string is uh, pop dot I think pop underscore back okay you can see the code here so you can implement stacks using strings as well this is the string answer we are going to each of the characters one by one we are pushing that and if the size of the answer is greater than three uh, or the, si uh, the size of this part greater than or equal to and answer dot substring answer dot size minus part dot size that means the last m characters this answer dot substring is going to give us the last uh, the sub the substring of size m which is the size of part okay from the end if this is equal to part then simply pop all these elements from the back this thing over here I hope you know about this. If you don't know, you can just simply Google this substring and you will get a page on I think c++.com. You can read it from there. Okay, substring. This is a really important operation uh, if you want to use strings efficiently. So this substring is going to give me the last m characters of the string answer and I can compare them with the part. If this is same, then I can pop those x characters. Uh, this is m. m is the size of part. I can just remove those m characters from the back. Finally, I'll return the answer, or I will simply return the stack. This is the stack, okay? All right, so I hope it is clear. You can just code it out by yourself. And thanks a lot, guys. And if you like the video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you're new here, just subscribe to the channel for more such videos. Thank you.